my equally awesome lovers. I'm cleaning my brushes right now, so pardon me if I'm looking up and down and everything. Um, the subject this week that Mark picked was, if you wrote an autobiography about yourself, what would the name be and why? Or I guess a biography. What would the name be and why? Um, a win-win situation. That would be the name of my biography or autobiography. Um, reason being, I fought very hard to get everything that I've achieved, or to achieve everything I've achieved, rather. Can you find a little out of it on painkillers? Hello. I love you. Anyway, and at the same time, I have won over people that really would never be accepting of um, of transsexuality without going about it a certain way, and I won them. I I won on all accounts on those, and by that I mean the people that matter to me. Um, And another reason it would be named that is even though I can be a little negative at times um, as far as my outlook on life goes, as much as I hate to, I think that's largely my health lately, but um, for most of my life I've been a really positive person and I would prefer to stay that way. So as I am working towards getting my life back on track and everything, you know, I would want to write an autobiography or have a biography written in a positive light. Um, and as you can tell, I am trying to stay positive about life. Oh, this one got a little bent out of shape. A little frayed, rather. Oh, well, it's clean. Super clean. Um, And on a side note, um, and I hate to go off on a tangent here, some of you may have noticed that on my personal channel um, last night that I got attacked, in a sense, um, pretty badly for standing up for a community member. Anyway, I'm in a rather strange conundrum, so that's actually going to be next week's topic. I'm going to go ahead and let you know about next week's topic now because honestly I really want you guys to think on it. Um, I want to talk about hate and hate crimes and I know that's a terribly negative topic but I want you guys to talk about what exactly you've been through, what you've witnessed, to any level of comfortability, you know. Anyway, like last night, um, this guy even said in one hateful comment he left on my page that um, I'm either going to die by cancer, because, you know, that's what apparently God does against queers and faggots and the such like myself and our community. On top of that, he also said that something to the extent of my husband deserving to have his skull cracked open and have his brains leak out. I construed that as a threat, you know, um, as it usually runs with me, I'm fine until somebody I love or respect is threatened. And um, so I'm in a strange situation on this. And I'm going to talk to you guys about it in detail next week. But um, anyway, enough negativity. I'm so sorry to bring that. I hate negativity and drama. But you know, that's, I hate to say, necessary drama. We have to stand up for ourselves. We have to be heard. But on a good note, really clean. A little out of shape because they're not completely dry right now, but really, really clean. 
I have a love-hate relationship with white brushes because when they're not deep cleaned, they get stained. And like pigments just stick to it. Can be completely sterile and still be just grungy looking. But I just spent like 30 minutes cleaning these. I can't feel my palm from all the scrubbing. Well, I can feel it actually. It's kind of... Well, actually I can't really feel the details on my palm considering I think I rubbed most of the skin off. But, um... And that's not a really perversive. Yeah. Anyway. Um, but yeah, my biography or autobiography would be called a win-win situation. And I hope that makes sense to you guys. Um, and by the way, Tori Girl 35, I absolutely love you, honey. I'm so sorry you keep catching me at the wrong moment. Bless her heart. She's been calling me. And um, every time she calls me, I'm either sick at the time or, or in a position in which I cannot speak, like on the toilet or vomiting. Anyway, I love you guys very much, and um, I look forward to seeing the rest of you this week, and I look forward to talking more about the topic for next week. Maybe we can even do a collaboration or something about hate and hate crimes. But I love you guys and I will talk to you later. Oh, by the way, some bad news. The pink hair is going away for now. Yeah, my hair is fried and to make matters worse, well, I wouldn't say to make matters worse. Um, it's a little premature to announce, but I am going to be putting an album out on iTunes of my music. So in preparation for that, every last penny that I can get together, including hair dye and whatnot, is going towards that. And I will probably go pink again after that is released or, you know, gearing up for release and touring and all that. Anyway, enough um, jibba-jabba. I love you guys and I'll talk to you later.